guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi i'm clever and please subscribe and for the returning subscribers hi okay this is moving vlog too but yeah i'm at the airport right now <laughs> so my friend is leaving for a little while so i brought her to the airport um yeah and Kisumu airport looks really really nice it's big it's beautiful we we're just waiting she's supposed to leave at around 4 it's like 3 30. so i hope you enjoy this this is movie vlog okay yeah. it's just like a commercial break yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's a commercial bre break but it's a good commercial break you know just showing you around how Kisumu is so a win is a win, you know. Let's <laughs> enjoy this vlog if you do. Please give it a big, give it a big thumbs up. And leave a comment. Yeah. So we're just sipping, sipping soda here. Oh. And, uh, I did a longer version too for my YouTube channel, so I'm sure when you're watching this vlog, it's already up. Um, remember when we ended the first moving vlog? I told you guys I was going to Nairobi. T and tell me why TikTok made me go to China Square. That place has amazing stuff. I just didn't have money, but it has amazing stuff. I grabbed a few things that I could, you know, because I was also in a hurry. I just wanted to see and know where it is, so when I go back, I'll get things that I did. So I did some shopping, just some few shopping, uh, house shopping. So let me show you guys the stuff that I got really fast. We have bread. Let me put this type of things down first. And this sunlight and the yeah, abaso. I got what is it? I got chapati, unga, aja. Uh, soda, though I don't really drink soda much. I got minutes made mango. I love mango. I got some sugar. We have some rice. And then, oh, bathroom. Then another package. Okay, bathroom, we have this Maxwell tile and shower cleaner. I have another blue touch bathroom cleaner. Um, I got Omo bleach detergent, uh, downy, and this glade elegant amber and owl. This is the girl she thinks she is. Mm, smells so good. Oh, and I I also passed by the mall and got these. So previously I bought what is that? I bought um. I bought, what's that? I bought foundation, but this foundation I bought was way darker. This is shade 355, so I bought shade 342. This is way lighter. I mean, this is at least my skin tone. So I think I mix the two because I haven't been using it like that. So I mix the two at least. Mm, mm, mm. This thing smells so good. I'll mix the two. Yeah. And then for this, also this concealer, I bought a darker one previously. This is shade 55, so I had to buy another one which is shade 35, and I already applied this. It's my shade, so I don't know what I'll do with this. Yeah, but I will see. <sighs> yeah. So next is, yeah, Eric, Sema. <laughs> Sorry, that was. <laughs> That was the uh, caretaker. Okay. Oh, next is the China Square Hall. Hall? What? What? Oh, <laughs> I was talking to my boyfriend, right? And then he was like, oh, do you know what I'm watching? And then I was like, mm, my video? And then he was like, yeah. And then, okay, you know, when you are, when you are, uh, when you are monetized, there's always that part where, like, somebody can tip you, right? And... And my brother just teach me ten freaking dollars on my first on my moving vlog episode one. And I'm mad. Thank you to a man. 
Emma Man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know that's right. So we move on to China Square Mall. Hall. But we thank God I came back in one piece with my phone too. So we are happy about that. I know Nairobi with, you know, I know Nairobi with post matching people's phones. I stayed there immediately after high school. I was a teacher. The moment I finished high school, I was a teacher. And I was a physics and English and math teacher in this academy. High school. Stop playing stuff. This girl, this girl is smart. The first thing I got, tell me why I bought the center was that. China Square, but they were cheap, and then they were free gift inside. Who doesn't want free gift inside? But I think it's just a small, what's that? A small pocket tissue. Whoops. This is a free gift inside, but it's okay. I should put one up already. I'm missing this. Yeah. The next thing I got from China Mall, China Square, are these Lashes, how how beautiful! Do you know they were just like one sixty? I think I have a shit. They were like just one sixty something shillings. One sixty five, and they're sixty eyelashes, and they're three pieces. Now I understand the hype. I totally understand the hype. I also got these multi-purpose liquid. It's so big, and it was. Multi quarters 195. So let me just say two and then for them. So big. So this is going to last me. Oh, everywhere is full. Then I got these toothbrush holder. This color. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. Yeah, I know, right? This was like two something. I'm just confirming the prices for. To be accurate, 250. I love it. Well, I'm going to put it up so I see how it looks. <laughs> yeah. I also got a sieve. I don't have a kichungi. See, a sieve. I think it got close during the movement. Then I got this makeup mirror. This makeup mirror was 1,000. I remember 1,100. So let's just. Let's just fix it first, first. Mm. I've been wanting this mirror, Fiavia. You've been really wanting this mirror, now you have it. Now my makeup videos, I'll start doing more makeup videos. Yeah, so this part, that one part really magnifies you. It's pretty much what I got at China Square. Yeah, that's what I got. And I hope so far you're doing this moving vlog.
to for dinner um, the previous house I was in before I moved to my former house was I was robbed <laughs> and I was in the house I was sleeping I didn't hear nothing so it's around 2 p.m. I'm sleeping and then somebody screams like kuna mtu apa? hey kuna mtu apa? remember it's 2 p.m. so in my mind I'm like was I dreaming because at 2 p.m. I peep through the window. It's kind of pitch dark. I, I don't, at that moment, it doesn't click to me like, where are the security lights? Because it's always, there's always light outside. I'm on the first floor. So, I peep through the window. I see it's kind of dark and it's quiet. I'm like, okay, maybe I was dreaming. Or maybe it was the next um, apartment. But no, I said, okay, let me just call the caretaker. So, I call him. The first time he did pick up, the second time he picks up, and then I'm like, hey, did, did I hear somebody scream or was I dreaming? And then he's like, yeah, I also had somebody scream. Is it here? I'm like, dude, I just asked you. And he was asking me. You know, because he was acting as the caretaker and the watchman at, at the same time. So I expect him to hear if somebody screaming in it's our apartment, right? The time difference between me and my boyfriend is like 10 hours. 2 p.m. here was around 5, 6 p.m. his time. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's from work. Let me just try, you know, contacting him. And him a voice note. I'm like, no, babe, I don't know. But I, I, I'm not so sure. But I think I had, okay, I'm, 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 I'm sure I had something. I'm sure I wasn't dreaming. I know I wasn't dreaming. I had something. And I had somebody scream like, somebody's here, somebody's here. So I don't know if somebody was fighting or I don't know if there's a bug in this building. I don't know. And then he's like, okay, are you safe? Because I was alone. So he's like, okay, are you safe? Or something? By, before we even finish talking, I see like my bedroom door is kind of um, open. But I remember I closed it. I always close my bedroom door. Like, okay, maybe I went to the bathroom. Maybe I didn't close it. But I know I always lock my door. I had my phone. I always sleep with my phone under my pillow. Most times, but sometimes it's always on the charge. But this particular day, it was under my pillow. So I'm thinking, if I have my phone, I doubt if there was a burglar here. What I do is I just uh, go back, close my door, and then try to sleep, which didn't come until like 3.30. So I always wake up by 6. So since I lost like one, two hours sleep that day, I was asleep, I, I woke up at around 7 a.m. I scroll through my phone. And then I think I, people are talking outside, the cleaning was going on in the company. Then I'm like, okay. Something here yeah, yesterday that was something. So let me just go outside and ask what's like, was it here? Or what was happening? Just ask the caretaker. 
the okay my bedroom door is here when you come out my ba bathroom is somewhere here and then from the bathroom you see kitchen this side then there's a door leading to the living area so i don't go through the kitchen or i don't go to the bathroom i just walk towards the kitchen i walk towards the living room i can't really see my living room is kind of weird uh the seats are, are kind of pushed it was an it was l-shaped it's kind of not in place and then uh okay my laptop was charging on the couch i don't see my laptop i'm like okay uh, maybe you went with it to the bedroom but i remember that day i didn't go with my laptop to the bedroom. i wasn't watching no movie i was so tired so i just slept i will i i was so sure i left my laptop on the couch so it was not in the couch so um the little, okay, the, the reason why I think the coach was pushed is because this person was trying to get the laptop charger. The extension is always at the back of the couch, so I think he wanted the charger too. So, you know, I wasn't, okay, at this moment, I'm, I'm, I'm not even thinking. I don't see my laptop. Uh, I remember I had 3,500 on the um, TV stand. It's not there because I had sold um, some outfits, so somebody paid me in cash that evening. So I was like, ah, I'll put it in M Pesa tomorrow. So let me just place it there somewhere I can remember. And then I don't see my iron box. My phone charger is also missing from the extension. And I just bought that charger. It's quite pricey because it was it was original oh, i don't see my editor it was just one day old that charger was just one day old it wasn't there too oh, my laptop is missing i don't my money is not there my iron box mm, phone charger what else was not there i can't remember all the stuff so i missing but it was easy stuff to carry i see my door is just a john just pushed so I'm like, okay, somebody was in here. Oh God, somebody was in here. I walk out, I rush down to the caretaker. People are there, like two or three people. And then I'm like, some, I was robbed. I was robbed. So I'm asking, was anybody else robbed? People are like, no, no, no. So this person targeted specific people because now they start telling me the lady who's who was screaming that night was also among the people so she's like yeah she, she was a pregnant lady her husband had left that night he was going for night shift or something like that so she said her husband left and uh she wasn't sure if the husband locked the door so maybe that's why the thief got in maybe the husband just locked the first one but not the lower one too because he was going to come back probably before morning so yeah so this lady you know somebody pregnant they always be going to the bathroom all the time okay so she's telling us i feel like there's a figure at my bedroom door ah, but i'm not sure i'm like okay maybe it's my husband but then she tries to wake up because she was pressed so she wants to go to the bathroom she's kind of trying to wake up and then she sees this person leaving instead of coming in and then she's wondering so she wakes up and this person is now going towards the living area she tries following this person so she sees this person is slimmer and then she you know this is not my husband and he had like some watchman like jacket then this person was kind of still standing at the door peeping inside i think maybe he was still taking his chances okay maybe she saw me maybe she didn't see me i think maybe he was just still waiting to see and then this lady starts screaming there's somebody so the, 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 this is the scream. This is the screaming I had that night. So I and she even says, I remember seeing you peeping through the window, but nobody came out. Me, I did scream, but nobody came out. But I feel like if she did scream, like thief, thief, people come out, come out. People would have come out. But she just said, somebody's here, somebody's here. So you know, people will be like, okay, maybe people are fighting in the houses or something like that. So that was the mistake she made but at least she had she had the guts to scream so which means these people which means whatever even if it was one person or many people i don't know but they already entered at this moment they had already entered my house they had already picked picked stuff because the moment this lady screamed he this person ran downstairs and jumped like this lady was seeing this man jumping 
across the fence. Like he literally jumped, he stepped on something and then jumped to the other side. Nobody came out. Like she started, she tried standing there just seeing this person running and nobody came out. And he had this like metal bad thing, right? So she just went back and locked her door. That's what she told us. Let me tell you, I cried. I cried. First of all, it was just mixed reaction, like mixed emotions at that time. Because I'm like, okay, what if I, what if I woke up when these people are in the process of picking things in my house? What if I woke up and started screaming and they killed me? Because I, I had they had a metal bad thing. What if they killed me? And and you know, apartment sometimes it takes even weeks without even interacting with your neighbor. So I'm like, what if? This person killed me. I could have been in here. I'm nobody noticing. I'm not. Nobody could have noticed. I'm not there. Or maybe somebody could have noticed and they could have just found me dead. Not knowing what happened. So and I'm like, okay, thank God I'm alive. Whatever they take, it's okay. Their karma will hit them. But I'm just glad I'm safe. I'm okay. Like that was my prayer. Like that was what was making me cry. I cried the whole day. My eyes were just swollen that day. Oh, if this lady didn't scream, these people are going to come back and carry everything because they did go to the kitchen. So we are going to come back and carry everything. I know. So thank God, the lady, you know, so they didn't carry too much, and they didn't hurt somebody. So yeah. <sighs> So yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys. Mm. And this vlog is going to end here. I'm so tired. I've been cleaning the whole day. But I didn't manage to clean my bedroom. Because uh, my bed is supposed to come tomorrow. I think that will be in the next vlog. Because this vlog is super long already. Um. So yeah. I hope you did enjoy this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't know if this story time quality video was good. It's already dark, but I hope it's good enough. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.